Today, we're talking about the issue of glove use and hand hygiene in relation to COVID-19. Our guest today is Julie Singleton, Lead Nurse for Infection Prevention Control at Whittington Health NHS Trust in London. Welcome Julie, and thank you to MediPal for providing the educational grant that made this video possible. So, on with our questions. So our first question is, over recent months there's been a lot of discussion about hand hygiene and glove use. Could you outline when healthcare workers should clean their hands, please? Uh, healthcare workers clean their hands within the WHO, the World Health Organization's um, five moments of hand hygiene. Um, essentially, this is um, there's two moments before um, and three uh, three after moments. So before um, patient contact, after patient contact, before you do a um, clean or an aseptic procedure, and also. Um, uh, if you've come into contact with blood and body fluids or perhaps a drain etc and then when you leave the bedside so five moments five, the five who World Health Organization moments um, also we do try to just encourage people just you know clean your hands more often it's, it's quite a, um, a relevant point as a lot of healthcare workers may not be within direct patient care um, yeah for example um, porters might come into the ward uh, you know, if you don't, um, if you don't have any uh, patient uh, contact, um, it, it's just quite a, a good um, process to, you know, think about cleaning hands more often when you have the opportunity. Yes, absolutely. So same for same for the rest of us as well, I guess. Um, so, second question is, and what should they use to clean their hands? Okay, so um, soap and water is obviously the obvious choice. Um, so when you're able to, to clean your hands. If you're working with a patient that ha um, has diarrhea or vomiting, um, or if your hands are visibly soiled, you should clean with soap and water. Um, but otherwise, um, something that's uh, you know everywhere within the hospital is alcohol hand rub, um, and. Uh, you know, it, it should be within every patient zone. Wherever there is a patient, there is alcohol gel. Um, so that is, by choice, um, the best probably product to, to uh, use, as it's 99% 99.9% um, effective on most bacteria. Great, fabulous advice. Um, okay, so question. The next question, question number three. Um, so there, are, there have been concerns about inappropriate glove use um, over the last. Um, couple of weeks and months. How would you define inappropriate use? Um, so, essentially, we we do often overwear gloves. If we are not, if we wear, if we're wearing gloves um, uh, within the five moments of hand hygiene, for example, um, it, it's moment three that you should be wearing them, perhaps with, with with presence of blood and body fluids. But if you continue to wear them, i.e., for a few tasks, for example then you're missing many opportunities to perform hand hygiene. So essentially you're um, carrying bacteria from place to place, um, uh, from your equipment, from patient to patient. So you must um, change your gloves uh, if you're wearing them um, and perform hand hygiene before and after um, glove use. It would be useful if you could outline when uh, healthcare workers should wear gloves and possibly give a, a couple of examples as well. Yes, um, so um, as I've mentioned the five moments of hand hygiene, there's um, mo moment uh, three is um, uh, after coming into contact with blood and body fluids. So if you are dealing with blood and body fluids, it is always uh, best practice to wear gloves. Um, and also if you're dealing with an infectious patient, you would tend to wear gloves uh, for that patient. Great, thank you. Um, I suppose this is a, an interesting one that some people might um, might wonder about. Why do you need to clean your hands before applying and after removing gloves? Um, so you will most often contaminate either your hands or your gloves when putting on gloves. So you're going to clean your hands before putting on uh, donning the gloves so you don't contaminate the gloves. But equally, when you're removing the gloves, um, your gloves are going to be contaminated. So if you don't perform hand hygiene after removing them, you most often would um, contaminate your hands, uh, essentially on removing, because the gloves are contaminated. 
So you must uh, clean your hands on removal. Makes sense. Excellent. Thank you. Um, and as, as well as healthcare workers, are patients' hands at an infection risk? Most definitely. Um, I mean, their their hands would be you know would be contaminated with their own body flora, and going from you know one site, for example, you know you know hands to mouth um, or, or or touching their eye, they can equally um, transmit bacteria within their own body. So it, it is quite important that they keep their hands clean and touching the surfaces around them, etc. Um, you know, they could be contaminating those surfaces for someone else to then uh, contaminate themselves. So when should patients clean their hands? Um, again, uh, you mentioned it at the beginning, we all should be doing it more often, um, but we really should try to encourage patients cleaning their hands um, before they have a meal, after they've used the toilet. Um, yeah, and, 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 and again, when they, if they feel or look um, dirty or grubby. Great, thank you. Um, and, and lastly, what are your take-home messages on hand hygiene and glove use, please? Um, okay, so glove use, uh, you should um, only, only use gloves when there are bloody body fluids um, uh, there. Uh, if, we, if we use glove use indiscriminately, um, this is uh, inappropriate and at risk of you know, missed opportunities for not cleaning your hands. Um, so limit the glove use to, you know, as essential by the body fluids. Um, and I guess just clean your hands more often. Thank you very much. We've come to the end of today's talk. Thank you once again to Julie Singleton for her time and expertise and to Medi Powell for their educational grant.